Welcome to the seventh video of lesson number two, Mathematics Part Two of Standard Ten, Pythagoras Theorem. In the previous video, we have seen the application of Pythagoras Theorem in acute angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. Now we are going to learn Apollonius Theorem uh, in this video. Okay, so what is the Apollonius Theorem? In for any triangle ABC. In the even textbook, it is given like this with the help of figure. So we have to understand that what is the theorem, what does the Apollonius tells that in any triangle, suppose M is midpoint of side BC. So this is the midpoint of any one of the side of the triangle, say BC. Okay, then what Apollon as per Apollonius that AB square plus AC square. So a triangle has three sides: AB, BC and AC. Suppose we have taken the midpoint of this side, this M. Then the remaining two sides, okay, the remaining two sides, AB and AC, okay. So these are the two remaining sides. If we take the squares and their sum, if we take the sum of their squares, that is equal to, this is equal to 2 times AM square. Now what is AM? Now A is the vertex opposite to side BC. So if you join this midpoint of BC with L. This is the thing, but your this AM is your median. This is your median. Okay. So 2 times AM square is 2 times median square and it's sum with 2 times BM square. What is BM? Now BM is half of this side whose midpoint we have taken. Okay. So it is 2 times BM square. So this is the property uh, derived by Apollonius and that we are going to first now prove. So first you have to understand what is that property that suppose this is the M is the midpoint of side BC of triangle ABC then these are the two remaining sides. So if you take sum of the squares of that two remaining sides that is equal to two times it's a sum of two times the median square and two times half of the side square okay so if it is another triangle say pqr okay so if it is triangle pqr and if we take the midpoint of say any side say pq say point uh, this point is a m point which is midpoint of this and this will be your median now this is going to be your median okay so what are the two remaining sides which is pr and qr so it is pr square plus QR square. So these are the two remaining sides. Okay, this side's midpoint we have taken. So these are the two remaining sides. So sum of the squares of these two sides is equal to two times the median. Two times median, it is two times RM square plus two times half of this PQ. Either it can be PM or it can be MQ, any time. So it is PM square. Like that we can write for such any triangle. Okay. So, this is your Apollonius theorem. Now, let's prove this theorem so we can utilize this theorem for any sum. Let's draw this part. So, this can be your given part. So, in, and this can be your two proof part. Okay, this we have to prove. Now, as I told you before, that we have. We are going to take help of uh, application of Pythagoras theorem in an acute angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle. What we require and anyhow we get the squares and all that in the uh, either in Pythagoras theorem or in the application of Pythagoras theorem. So here we do not have any perpendicular to get right angle triangle. So if we have this, we draw a construction. Say if we draw this perpendicular from A which intersect BC at say point D, okay. So if we have this construction, what we can get? So construction is say AD is perpendicular to BC and the betweenness can be B dash or we can write betweenness is M dash D dash C. What will happen if we have this perpendicular? Okay, we will get this word right angle triangle. So in triangle, a M D as we have D is 90 degree correct so 
what will be this? This will be your acute angle, correct? And this is a right angle triangle and these both are going to be acute angle triangle. So angle AMC, AMC is going to be less than 90 degree. And AMC if it is less than or AMD or AMC it is say if this is less than 90 degree it's linear pair should be AMD this angle should be octave cycle okay and angle AMB is going to be bigger than 90 degree that is an octave octave cycle triangle so from where we can get this AB square and AC square we can get this AB square in triangle AMB where M is an obtuse angle triangle so for it for this suppose we take triangle AMB okay here angle M is obtuse and an obtuse angle triangle okay obtuse angle triangle here we can get AB square the side opposite to obtuse angle the side opposite to obtuse angle AB square okay this AB square is equal to as we have seen in the last video this AB square is equal to the it is the sum of the remaining two sides okay AM square plus BM square AM square plus BM square okay this we are doing rough work we are trying to see how we can prove this once we have decided how we have to prove then we will uh, do the final presentation part okay so this is some of this but this is obtuse angle so this is going to be bigger than something more we have to add so what we have to add as I told you this is the angle M so from here we will take the whole base in this triangle 2 times BM into from here till the perpendicular if you remember we have seen that in the previous video figure like this for this acute and obtuse angle triangle ABC suppose this is an obtuse angle so what is this AB square AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square okay and plus we add suppose this is M point we add whole base BC or CB it is 2 times CB and 2 into CM from this point till your base and from this point till the foot of the perpendicular into CM. So similarly here we are using 2 times BM or MB into MD into MD. This is our equation number 1. Now in triangle AMC where angle M is acute angle AM C where angle M is acute angle or less than 90 degree. So we can get AC square. Okay, AC square is a side opposite to the acute angle triangle. It is going to be sum of this AM square plus MC square. AM square plus MC square. So here it is going to be minus. When it, in acute triangle, the same thing, whatever we are adding, here it is minus. So it is two times full this M to C, M, C into from M till the perpendicular M, D. Okay. Now this is equation number two. From one we have got A, B square. From second we have got B, C square, A, C square. Now in this proof we have to add this one A, B square and A, C square. So if you add these two equations, what we will get? On the left side we will get A, B square plus A, C square. Okay, what is this AM square? AM square it is 2 times AM square plus this is BM square and this is MC square. Can you add this? Now, if you see BM and MC, these two are same because M is a main point. So, either you can write here 2 times BM square or 2 times MC square. These both are same. We can convert this as BM square and this can be written as 2 times BM square. While writing actual presentation, we can replace this and then we can write this. Now here 2 times BM into MD. Here it is 2 times MC into MD. Now 2 is same. BM and MC. BM and MC. Again these two are same. So this MC can be replaced as BM. And this is MD and B. So actually this is same term. 2 times B BM BD, 2 times BM MD. Okay. This plus 2 minus 2. So this can get cancelled. Okay. So here nothing is immense. So what we want? We want the same thing. AB square plus AC square is equal to 2AM square plus 2 times BM square. So we can prove like this. 
So what we have to do? We have to use the application of Pythagoras theorem in obtuse angle triangle and acute angle triangle. And then we have to replace BM or CM, MC as BM and here also MC as BM because BM and MC are equal. M is made a point of PC. Okay. Now, uh, using these steps, we can prove this. So, let's see the presentation part. Here, we have taken the construction that AD is perpendicular to this. Okay. Therefore, now in triangle A and D, angle D is equal to 90 degree. We can get ready a proof part. Proof part and here it is now in. This is by construction. Okay. Therefore, angle here A and D. A and D is uh, less than is an acute angle. Is an acute angle. If A M D is acute, therefore A M C is also acute angle. Therefore, angle A M C is an acute angle. Okay. Here the reason is M dash D dash C is between this. Okay. So, this is 90, therefore the remaining two are acute angles. So, you can find here remaining angle of triangle A M D. Either you write or if you don't write, that is also an now, if AMC is acute, that AMD is going to be obtuse angle. Therefore, angle AMD is an obtuse angle. The reason is angle AMC and angle AMD form a linear pair. That's why if one of the angle is acute, the rest should be obtuse. Okay. Now, this we will write. Okay. So, now in triangle A, M, B, angle A, M, B is an obtuse angle. And therefore, this statement A, B square is equal to AM square plus BM square. The same statement I am writing here. Plus 2 times BM into MD. Statement number 1. Now in triangle AMC. Angle AMC is an acute angle Therefore, now we will write that AC square statement here. Therefore, AC square is equal to AM square plus, it is, here it is MC square minus 2 times MC into MD. Now, instead of saying this as statement 2, let's replace this MC as BM and this also as BM. Therefore, AC square is equal to AM square plus this MC we are going to replace at BM square minus 2. This MC is going to be BM into MD. Statement number 2, the reason is MC is equal to BM. Okay, this is the reason. Okay, now let's add these two equations. Okay, therefore now adding equation 1 and 2. What we get? We will get it AB square plus AC square. AB square plus AC square is equal to. Here it is AM square plus AM square, you can write directly also AM square plus AM square that is, uh, you can write it directly 2F or if you want to show complete addition then show it as AM square plus BM square plus 2BM MD that will be easy for just you 
you understand dm into md plus just write it just below am square plus bm square minus 2bm into md okay now it will be easier for you to write to have the right side so it is ab square plus ac square is equal to this plus this am square plus am square you get it 2m square plus 2 times bm square and this you can show it is cancelled so this is true so this is the property or theorem which is called as Apollonius theorem okay now in this theorem if you know uh, how many things are there if you know one of the sides say a b b c and b c then you can find the median so if you, there are three sides and the median this is the theorem related to about this if you know any three things about it about the, out of this you can find the fourth one remaining from this okay now in the next video we will see some how to solve using this or these theorems uh, in the next video i hope you have understood this theorem and yes if you like this please give me likes and comments and if you are not yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe thank you very much